point out the fact the Q now is not the same Q that was posting in the beginning. It went from exposing the worldwide cabal to focusing on a few players in the United States government. It's clearly been comped and now it is a psyop or a disinformation campaign. And what I it is from Isaac Green, clearly a psyop and a disinformation campaign. We're still talking about it because people are still coming around, like waking up from a slumber and need to be presented still the evidence of everything that they've been led to believe and and were surrounded by other people who believed it is not exactly what they thought it was. So I'm here today because there's so much information around the internet. I'm going to try to get it together and then at the same time give a shout out to the YouTubers I'll be featuring to give you an update on exactly what's going on with QAnon. Some, there have been some recent events. I'll have Isaac explain it to you um, with a post posting under QAnon, a parent, which totally appears to have been from pamphlet. Um, them revealing that they expose themselves intentionally. It's, it's a story that's not making a lot of sense to people. Inside the various Q discords, people are starting to say they have doubts, they have questions, they want to know what's happening. So the biggest thing that happened was last night on Unirock. Unirock, who's been live streaming this, the unfolding of this entire QAnon story, and he had on insiders who were part of the original discord boards who were part of patriot soapbox um who have who came out and told their stories so that's what i want you to stay tuned for i'm going to play those segments from unirock show near the end of this show so i'm your host nathan stoltman that right over my shoulder is doshi our producer who has his own stickers by the way which you can find at my sponsors website and that's me also truthclothing.io we make t-shirts like this one i've been wearing it truth matters really does it really does you can go to truthclothing.io you can see our t-shirts there including the russian bot mostly real t-shirts you can also see um, coffee mugs stickers doshi merchandise limited edition products etc we pack them right here in the garage. We ship them out to you. They actually come fast and uh, not it, then shipping's cheap. You'll be really surprised by how happy you are with your purchase if you decide to do it. And also it supports this kind of experience. So let me get you up to date on the facts. Let me play you a little bit of more of what Isaac Green said as far as, the, and Isaac, anti-school, we're giving him a shout out because he was a big QTuber. He was actually criticized by some of us as being uh, oblivious to the fact that Q seemed like it was, you know, in some way fake or not as advertised. We criticized a lot of people who continue to come out and pump Q and decode Q even as if there weren't any legitimate questions that could be asked and no reason to doubt anything he said. Isaac Green was kind of in the same ballpark, anti-school. His channel got deleted from YouTube and he wasn't able to get it back. He's on a new channel. He has about 35,000 subs, I think. Here I can look. 36,000 subs. But he actually is down a couple thousand since calling out Q, since saying that he thinks it isn't real, that it's not really a government insider. So I would say since he's telling the truth right now about this and he's willing to lose subscribers over it just to tell the truth, I say you should give uh, him a, a chance, maybe give him a sub. You know, he's a young, young truther who's out there going against the grain, which is hard to do. And, and, a sh and you know, support all of your uh, truth tubers who are willing to go against the narrative, sometimes to their own detriment. Let me show you a little bit more. This is this is what happened with these weird posts that appear to have been from Pamphlet Anon. This was clearly, if it wasn't Pamphlet Anon, like I said, I don't want to go after these people. I'm just trying to look for the truth here. Someone was posting as Q the other day, said, God damn it, Q, are you serious? Password exposed. Re with five E's, trip change, Q. 
can we get a new trip please Q but that was Q posting to Q something suspicious is going on it looks like someone was trying to post anonymously but instead by mistake they posted as Q and on so it, it's as if someone was posting as an anon on the boards but also as Q basically saying this whole Q and on thing is an insider operation it's never been a White House insider it's never been a White House insider and even if it was at one point, you know, someone that came out from the CBTS group, Baruch the Scribe, said he believes that it was comped on January 5th, 2018. And that's when Admiral Rogers from the NSA actually stepped down. And that's really all I wanted to talk about today. I know I'm... All right, that is what happened. There's a lot of different evidence out there. I'm going to play you some of what these, um, I think, uh, brave... You know, whistleblower types, you know, considering you could get trolled for exposing the real queue and there were threats to do that. You're going to hear uh, from a uh, Pyro and Packy uh, who were in the original discords working things out as the uh, with the people originally involved with Q, including Pamphlet. And I'm going to give you their stories. This is uh, the inside information so that you can inform your decision, you know, about how things really went down. Unirock. After a few weeks, things were starting to change and not for the better. There will be a link for this in the description. Please give him a sub too. One thing would be said in voice chat and within a few days, the total opposite would happen. People who expressed dissatis dissatisfaction with or questioned the Q narrative were removed from the Discord, while others who believed the narrative were promoted to admins and mods and given control over the discussions, with any dissent being muted. I found myself questioning my own involvement in the whole movement. Was this a good thing to be involved in? Do I share this with my friends? Most importantly, is this going to do any good in the whole scheme of preserving our Constitution? I should have added in our country. After sitting in on a Q heavy discussion one night and feeling like I was being told what to think on the posts, which I actually was, and my thoughts were being disregarded as incorrect, I took a deeper look at the situation. There was talk at that time of monetizing the YouTube 24 7 stream of a GoFundMe account being set up to finance a trip to the March in April. That was the one Tracy hosted for one mod. And plus, there was also one set up for um, possibly financing a server. After all the talk, attacking people who were trying to profit from the Q movement, which they did too in there, it appeared they were going the same way. The pursuit of the almighty dollar and fame whoring for profit appears more important than doing anything useful to help our president, um, and I put MAGA, or calling bullshit on the things going on in our country and fighting to make it better for future generations. From things I have seen recently, it appears Congress is not the biggest threat to freedom of speech in our country right now. It is our fellow patriots slash citizens across many platforms of social media. If we don't protect and value our rights as citizens of the greatest country in the world, we stand to destroy it ourselves. She, she had written that in a post, I guess, back in February. That's why it sounds like she's, she's reading it. Uh, but obviously... Uh, someone who was on the inside of Q who saw that it started leaning towards what she called the almighty dollar. And so I'm going to fast forward. And, and like I said, there's a link to this. I'm going to give Unirock a donation too. Um, so watch this video all the way through so it gets views and makes ad dollars. And then we can give him a bigger donation um, because it's really, it's really his work uh, that I think has been is the most revealing information that's come out so far. Here's a little uh, portion about. Here's a little portion about some of the evidence that was presented to verify QAnon. When are we actually going to start seeing some of this stuff happening? And I believe it was probably. Um, the later part of December, earlier part of January, Q had sent a picture of a building in, it might have been Shanghai or Japan, I, don't, I can't recall the exact place, 
but the message was that we were watching an arrest real time and the the picture of the building had a, a it was like a glass building and one window was open and around that one window there were like a re, there was like a residue around the the window well automatically everybody in the discord started going crazy and going oh my god you know they they must have used a uh, tear gas or some sort of uh, stun blast or you know whatever they call them flash and uh, right flashbang yeah and um, you know just draw, jumping to all these conclusions but I, it kept nagging at me that there truly was nothing going on in this picture I mean there was there are this group of pictures in one there was a police off a, a police officer from that was had been on a motorcycle he was walking from his motorcycle to a Porsche but there was no one being arrested there was no one in handcuffs there was there were no military personnel around um, there wasn't anybody walking into the building or walking out of the building the pictures literally showed nothing so I took this picture and I put it into Photoshop and I looked at the metadata and Q said this was happening real time and everybody was all excited about that they were like oh, oh my god we're seeing this real time this, this is really happening right now and I'm thinking number one why the hell are we arresting anybody in a di in a foreign country we really don't have any authority to do that unless we have that country's permission and uh, I just didn't really see that happening going down like that but okay whatever you know I'll go with the flow and um, when I looked at the metadata it indicated that this picture was more than 15 years old well how could it possibly be happening real time if the picture was more than 15 years old and I brought that up and that was I, I I was banned for the first time very shortly after that very shortly there that 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 was a great piece of audio to get from her she saw that the evidence being used to verify Q was fabricated and was banned immediately after that a lot of people when they say but Q is real they tell you evidence they say what about this what about this and we've gotten some clues about how they did some of those magic tricks what what their sleight of hand well here there was an insider email sent to Unirock which he published and one of the tricks for Twitter which a lot of people use to say well how did they know what Trump was going to tweet well this is what this one whistleblower said in one of the earliest uh, emails that we got um, me and Unirock both heard from this person uh, it says there is a website that shows all of Trump's tweets it's still on the web now it used to be able to load tweets right after Trump would post them but a bit faster than it would pop up on Twitter around 5 to 15 minutes faster it mostly depended on the server but this is how we got lucky and were able to post some of the words off Trump's tweets on the chance before it loaded on Twitter this really made it all very believable but really it was all because there was a code that Twitter provided to capture the tweet off the server it's how media websites would capture and embed them too Twitter eventually fixed this and it's why you no longer see the POTUS tweets prior to him posting on Twitter that coding was all code monkey with the help of a few others and then uh, this person says here's the Moab which says they also hacked a server which gives early news updates and they use that with some success to allegedly predict the future by talking about current events before they were actually in the news so that's how some of it was done I'm trying to present evidence um, for people who are coming around on it just that you that's real evidence that you can understand um, this is what they're saying happened here is some information about how pamphlet was behaving and all signs point to pamphlet and maybe Baruch 
uh, perhaps together, perhaps separately, being at the top of the pyramid as far as people can tell, as far as anybody has evidence for. You know, and I had, I had, I had DM'd. This is Packy, the compassionate pachyderm, I believe. It's a reference, pachyderms, elephants are pachyderms. So it's like compassionate, conservative, basically. Um, that's who she is, Packy. Pamphlet and, and this other uh, administrator and said, you know, we can't do this. You can't have these people on for these, this, you know, all these hours in a row. With She's saying that uh, for the soapbox that people who are involved in the Discord, in the Q Discord, were uh, not so much asked, but told that they would have to help uh, host the soapbox 24 7 stream a uh, by pamphlet basically so she was saying how people were work how how she had to work seven hour shift she knew someone who worked a 48 hour shift and was having problems uh, at home because of it because of all the work putting in um and she Paggy, complained uh that people you know shouldn't be doing that you can't force people to do that without a break and um you know, this isn't this isn't going to work. These people can't do this. And so after that, I kind of tried to pull away from it a little bit and went, stayed back down in the CBTS Kofi fee room. And I, re I recall one time when pamphlet came down and said, just came right into the voice chat and said, if you've got permission to be in the 24 seven, get your asses up there and start talking. It wasn't it wasn't asking us to get up there. It wasn't please can you can you help us out? It was get your asses up there and start doing it. So I was playing that on my Twitch stream and people in the chat said that was something significant to get a feel for pamphlet's behavior. So I'm uh, on Twitch where I am live right now, twitch.tv slash lift the veil 401. I'm actually not allowed to be live on YouTube. Otherwise I would be, I am actually a live streamer. Um, yeah, I'll be back on another channel. Subscribe to it. Lift the veil Two T O O on YouTube. I'll be back live within a few days, apparently, but really I'm, I, I really enjoy my stream on Twitch the most. And there, the, the chat's great there. Plenty of people tune in there. People like it there. There's a good app, a good chat, all that stuff. And all my shows are archived there too after they're over if you really can't get enough Lift the Veil. So that's Twitch. Um, that's where things are happening right now. People thought it was relevant, the behavior of Pamphlet. Um, I guess Pamphlet plays a really big role in this QAnon thing. So I'm looking on the bright side of life. QAnon really did get a lot of people looking into things they never thought about looking at before and those people are in the excitement phase where they're learning all kinds of new things so i'm going to focus on trying to offer the kinds of things those people are trying to learn uh, because i know some people front who are following q have started questioning i've started watching shows like this and for everybody else i think you know focusing on what's important is and what's real and getting beyond the left right divide and getting beyond the thought that someone, anything external to ourselves is going to be responsible for bringing us into the new age. The new age is coming, but it comes from within each of us. So, you know, you have to actually do it. That's the real red pill from all of this. People are going to try to convince you that something else is gonna make things better, but actually you're the only thing that makes things better. You've been doing that, and that's how you got to this point. So congratulations. Continue for the rest of us, continue for all of us, in co-creating this universe to think positive. Anyway, we're gonna keep learning things, I think, even though we might still have to talk about Q a a little bit. We'll see how the news develops. Maybe we're due for a denouement. Maybe Q is climaxed. We'll see. I'm also on podcast, Lift the Veil. You can find me on iTunes. Leave me a review. You can find me on Steam It, BitChute, etc. If you don't want to get a t-shirt and just want to support this kind of information, 
you are welcome to donate, and I will thank you for it. I will thank you for it, if not personally, virtually. That's patreon.com slash lift the veil and paypal.me slash lift the veil. Feed Doshi's food bowl. From me, from Doshi, that is what it is.